Hey everyone, it's Miss Marty again. I am going to be talking all about convection today. So excited! So excited! So let's look at one of the examples of convection. All right, so I have this empty tea bag and a lighter. Um, I'm going to set this straight up and light it on fire. I want you to write in your notebook what you think is going to happen when I light this tea bag on fire. Now that you have your written response ready to go, let's see if you're correct. Ooh. <laughs> this never gets old. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it is sinking back down to the floor right now. Wow. Let's do that again. No. that I just showed you relate to convection. Write it down. Now I'm gonna show you another example of convection. I have my cold water here and my hot water here. So when I put them in this room temperature water, I want you to tell me what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen with the cold water? And what do you think is gonna happen with the warm water? All right. Let's see. So I'm gonna slowly pour in the cold water. All right, now let's see what uh, happens when I put the warm water in. So we have just created a convection tank. So as we see the warm, less dense water molecules are staying at the top. They have risen to the top and the cooler, more dense water molecules have sank to the bottom and are staying at the bottom. Convection currents in the asthenosphere happen because the core heats up the melted rock. Well, we know warm things rise. So when the core heats up this molten rock, it rises, but once it rises, what? Okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. Back to what I was saying. The core heats up the melted rock, which rises, but once it rises in the asthenosphere, it is away from the heat source. So then it starts cooling back down. And as it cools back down, what happens? It sinks, cool things sink. And when that happens, we get these convection currents, warm rock rising, cold rock sinking, creating these convection currents. So now I'm gonna show you a demonstration with a hot plate, a beaker of milk and some hot cocoa. So I want you to write down in your science notebook, what do you think the hot plate represented? What do you think the milk represented? And what do you think the hot cocoa mix represented? So I'm gonna place the milk on the hot plate with the hot cocoa mix on top. I want you to think about what you think is going to happen when I do that. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Thank you.
saw that the hot plate represented the core, the heat from the inner and the outer core. The milk represented the mantle, the asthenosphere, specifically where convection currents are occurring. And the hot cocoa mix represented the crust or the lithosphere. And so now I want you to construct an explanation on why this happened. Why did the hot cocoa mix move the way that it did? What caused it to move that way? And how does that relate to the convection currents that occur in the asthenosphere? So if we think about the hot plate being the core, we know that the core heated up the mantle, the milk. And once the core heated up the mantle, we saw the milk rising to the top and then sinking back down, creating these convection currents in this beaker. When that happened, the hot cocoa mix moved. And that's exactly what we see in the real world. The convection currents in the asthenosphere are causing our tectonic plates to move. Thanks for joining me again. I want you to write hot sauce in the chat when we join Zoom so I know that you watched it. Have an awesome day. I'll see you around. Bye.